simply open video proc drag and drop your video you want to trim click on cut set the in and out point set the target format and start render Hey there, it's me, Greeny for Greenbox, and as we just learned in today's video, we're going to take a look at how easy it is to trim 4K video files using Video Proc. This video is part of a sponsored series, and if you want to watch the other video parts, make sure to click up there into the info card, where you will see the playlist of all the other videos we did about this topic. For today's video, let's just jump into my desktop and start Video Proc. Because we want to trim a 4K video clip, we go into the video tab in here. And on this page, we now can add our video clips we would like to trim. And to do that, I already prepared some video clips I would like to edit during this series. So first, we're gonna take this video clip, which is a two minute long video clip I took with my 4K drone, which is almost two minutes long. And there's only just like one part I really are interested in and this is the part here at the very end. So I'm only going to share this piece to my friends. So why should I want to take the entire video, which by the way takes 1.5 gigs of my storage. So why should I just keep that large file when I can just have the trimmed out piece I really want to see. We're just gonna take this video and drop it into video proc and once that's imported we can click onto the cut icon, which will allow us to trim the video to our needs. And on this page now, we will see two green markers. Those markers are so-called in and out points, and those points define where the trimmed video starts and where the trimmed video ends. And as we just saw, I'm just interested in the part at the end or towards the end. And this is about here, from here to there about there so let's set the out point and now we have this beautiful 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 scene where i fly along the dam in switzerland and i'm pretty happy with that so i'm going to say cut this and this is all i need this is all i want to have this is the piece of video i want to keep so i go down there and say done and now where we done we can select how we want to use the video and how we want to save it and for that we go down there to target format and on this page video proc already has tons of templates we can use to save this video so in my case i know i want to save that video onto my ipad so i can show it to my friends using my ipad and to do that i go to apple device in there ipad video and in there, I then select the template which fits my iPad. And this is the iPad Pro and finally done. And once that's done, there's only one more thing left to do. And this is to go over here to the output folder and set where the video should be saved to. So we click on browse and in here, I'm going to select the desktop because this is a place where I easily get to. So I know where my video will be. And next up, we click open. And there's one more thing I want to point out here. If you're working on a computer or if you're working on a laptop with more power than mine, for example, when you have a graphics card, you can tick this box, Hardware Acceleration Engine. It takes your graphics card instead of your main computer processor to render the video. This will result in a faster renderer and therefore less time you have to wait. The result will be exactly the same but you will have less time to wait. Then the last step is click run. And now the video which we selected and which we said we want to trim out is now being rendered. And once that's done, we can close video proc. And if we then go to my desktop, we will see that we have a new video up here, which we just rendered. And if you take a look, we see it's really just that scene I was very interested in and I now can show to my friends. And as a nice bonus, instead of taking up 1.5 gigs, it's now a mere 33 megabytes. And therefore, I'm saving space. If you're interested in more, for example, how we can take multiple trimmed out sections and combine them to one video file, you should click up there to the info card where we have the playlist of all the sponsored videos. All right, you now know how easy it is to use Video Proc to trim out a piece of a 4K video file 
and save it to a safe location. All right, I hope this video helped you. And in case you want to learn more about Videoproc, make sure to click here onto the playlist, which is the entire full sponsored video series about Videoproc and watch the videos and learn more. All right, I hope this video helped you. I'm Greeny, this is Greenbox. I will see you at the next video and hopefully it's one of this playlist. So bye.